Hey everyone, Aja and Mumu here from Pandemonium. We just arrived and we are at Haley Farm State Park. This is a Connecticut State Park and it's a preserve for the colonial era dairy farmland. As open space in the town of Groton, it was a site for the dairy farms. This park includes 267 acres that is directly connected to Bluff Point Coastal Reserve through a pedestrian bridge over railroad tracks. All right, here's the map. Here's the park entrance and that's where we are. Uh, there's a main trail right here, I believe. Yep, so we're gonna take this trail. There's a bike trail that goes off this way. You ready, Mimi? <laughs> that's the bike route and here's the walking path. There's Panda over there. It's really beautiful here. beautiful through here. I love the stone walls. I was mistaken. Here's that split right here. Going with the vista point. I think we're gonna go this way. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh, I love that sound. The wind rustling through the leaves. <laughs> what do you think, Mumu, huh? Isn't that a beautiful sound? It's a beautiful day today. Just awesome. Another trail. Huh. <laughs> uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. path is like really tight. Go. Yes, it opens up a little bit. Alright, well, this path doesn't seem to be curving. It seems to be going straight. So I think we're gonna turn around and take one of those side paths back there. Ooh, butterfly! <laughs> yeah, because this just keeps on going and I know one of the paths led straight into like I believe a neighborhood that yeah this just keeps on going all right you want to turn around Mumu you ready huh <laughs> oh well there's poles there what are those for oh, go Mumu good girl let's see what's just a little further ahead and then we'll turn around <laughs> go 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 Good girl. Oh. Well, it did lead out to something. <laughs> well, here we are. Oh. Looks like a school baseball field. <laughs> well, I guess we get time to turn around. Back through the jungle and the wilderness. Oh no! <laughs> Made it back. <laughs> that was a really narrow trail. Okay. There's a side trail up here. And we're gonna take that. And now that I'm looking at it, it looks like I did take a side trail. And this is the main trail. Oopsie. <laughs> oh well. Alright, back on the main trail. <laughs> Go.
well we've come to the edge of the state park and this is some kind of trail road um yeah it's paved so <sighs> this way is the direction of where i parked well it's more that way so hopefully this will lead back to it because if not then we'll have to backtrack and i really don't want to do that i prefer to just Keep on going in one direction and come back around to it. How you feeling? <laughs> I'm going to check my map and see where I am on it. Yep, we're right there on the map. And this is actually the GNS Trolley Trail. And it's heading in a different direction. It's more sideways. I am over here and there's where I started. So and that's where we I sidetracked over here. So I need to actually cut back over. So that's going through the woods somewhere. There's got to be a connecting trail. Oh, what's this? This is probably the connecting trail. Yep. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Oh. oh, this is that bridge that I mentioned earlier, I believe. Let's take a look at this real quick before we head back in. All right, there's a trail on this side. And I looked at the map and I believe it leads to the water because the ocean or the bay is that way. So, we'll come back to that trail. I know that trail heads home or back to Panda. <laughs> I just want to see if this does lead to the water because that'll be awesome. What do you think, Moo Moo, huh? Will it be awesome? <laughs> All right, come on, honey. I looked at the map wrong and that path does, or this path does not lead to... Uh, the water source but we've made it back so actually we have to cross that bridge and get on the other side of the railroad tracks to get to the water <sighs> yep this is the way we have to go <laughs> lord i don't know where that leads to but it was along the railroad track like that path is so <sighs> we'd rather see the water than follow that and cross back over the railroad tracks. You still there? Yep. <laughs> We've crossed the bridge and oh, there's a gate here, but it says to Bluff Point State Park. It's a different state park and it's that way. All right, so I checked Google Maps and this does seem to lead to the water. So this is the way we're going. It's not that big of an area, so why not? Lord help me Jesus. When I come out of the shade, it's hot as crap. It's only 79 degrees, but that sun is burning today. Ooh, Lord. I can't take it. Oh, here comes some shade right now. Okay, here comes some shade. I'm good. Ah, oh, the water, yay, we made it. This is what we came for. Uh, oh, it's, the breeze feels so good. Well, huh, kind of mucky. <laughs> but that's cool, I think. It's so beautiful. <gasps> Duckies. What you doing, Moo Moo? At least we're in the shaded spot. Yes, because it is quite hot under that sun. Yay, shade. Oh, such a beautiful day. That breeze is just awesome. here we almost fell asleep didn't we? <laughs> it's just so beautiful under this shaded tree Ugh. yeah I definitely could pass out right here <laughs> I almost did actually the wind feels so nice off of the water that's Mumford 
cove and it leads out to the Atlantic Ocean. So beautiful. This is kind of why I want an inflatable backpack kayak that comes in a backpack because then I could backpack in and then just inflate it and then go out on the lake or cove or whatever, the water, and enjoy myself. <sighs> oh my goodness. That was so comfy. I hate to get up. Oh, there's a rock. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, it's comfy, wasn't it, Moo Moo? Alright, well, I could lay here all day. It's so beautiful and relaxing. But it's time to get hiking back to Panda. We've already been right under three miles. So we've got to hike back. Don't you, Moo Moo? Yeah, you just want to stay here all day, don't you? <laughs> Yes. Alright, my feet are ready for hiking. <laughs> I took a break and it's time to get back on the trail. Alright, Moo Moo Monster, you ready to go? Let's go, go. Awesome spot. There's um, part shade and then there's part that's not shaded, so if you want to actually. Um, Sunbathe, you could. I know you hear that breeze. It's it feels amazing. It's cool because it's coming off of the water. If you follow this path this way, it leads around and onto the other side of the cove. Yes, this is definitely going to be one of my secret favorite places, and it's definitely going to be marked on my map. Done, Mimu? All done? Yeah. Oh, man, look. <laughs> intersection. Panda is right back there over my shoulder and there are two more paths. One that way and one this way. This is the path that we came from. So, yeah, there's tons of paths around here. Mumu, are you interested in that path? Come on Mumu, let's go see what's up here. There's a flop. <laughs> I guess they didn't need it too bad. That's beautiful here. Although it's not shaded at all, and that sun over my shoulder is pretty hot. Where you going, Moo huh? You find a side trail? It's a small one. <sighs> Yay, shade. Oh, but it doesn't last that long. I will say this is very pretty here. The views are awesome. Oh, I see water. There's another path that goes into the woods there. Nope, we're not going into the woods, Moo into the woods to grandmother's house we go. There's the water right there. Awesome. <laughs> Another shot of the water. There's the sailboat. Yeah. Ooh. The sun is bright and hot. Alright, it is midday and we're headed back to Panda. Come on, Moo Moo. I'm gonna get you. Go ahead and run. Give yourself some heat exhaustion. Yay, we made a full circle back to Panda. All right, well, we did good. We hiked for an hour and 41 minutes, and it was 4.44 miles that we went almost five miles. So that was awesome. And a lot of you ask which app I use for my hikes and walks and exercising. It's called S Health, and it's for the Android. I'm not sure if they make it for any other device. I do know they make it for Android because that's what I use is Samsung. Alright, well, we did stop at a pilot here. And we found this on the app called RV Parks. It's a new app. It's, it's actually really good. I found it a couple days ago. And it actually has the Walmarts that you can stay at. Truck stops, Dick's, all of them. Crackle Barrels. So it's pretty good. Everybody always suggests all stay, but that's like 10 bucks. This is free. So yeah, all stays is not um, 
free. It's it's nine ninety nine, ten bucks. You might as well say. They do have a free one, but it's only truck stops. And this one has it all, so that's why I decided to go with this one. This is the following day. We did end up staying here, and it was pretty quiet, so no one harassed us. It is the same time as yesterday when we were leaving the park. We're gonna get on the road. I had editing to do today, so that's why we're leaving so late. I had to get caught up. We are right by the Connecticut-Rhode Island border. This was our last day here in Connecticut. So we're gonna get on the road and get into Rhode Island. Let's go. All right, this is uh, all they have as front parking. Not that much and they're not that big. Fortunately, I got to back up into a space. But if you go around this way, there's another driveway on that side and um, it leads to truck parking, which I've seen quite a few RVs go back there. So I guess you can park there as well. All right, let's get on the road. And welcome to Rhode Island. Discover beautiful. <laughs> awesome. So glad we made it to Rhode Island. So far, it's been a gorgeous, wonderful, fabulous trip. <laughs> All right, and then exit one is Hopkinton and Westerly. All right, here's my exit. We're getting off of 95 North. And getting on to 102 South. In a quarter mile, merge onto Rhode Island, 102 South. Thanks, Bev. We have about 9.6 miles before our destination. All right. Well, we have made it to Walmart. Turn awesome. left. Thank you, Bev. All right, this Walmart was on the RV parks. In 300 app. feet at the traffic circle, take the third exit. Thank you, Beverly. There's some kind of caboose over there. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, let's find somewhere to park here. There's a big old windmill right over there. I think this sucker's huge. Well, that's definitely interesting. <laughs> I love that. Too bad they won't allow you on it though. Well, I had to get a shot of the inside. That's cool. Can't really see much. Wow, there's some cool old parts. <laughs> so neat looking. Well, everyone, we want to thank you for hanging out with us, and it's been an awesome time. And hopefully, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Love everyone. Also, don't forget to take some time to enjoy your life. Yeah.